Hi everyone, it's Laura and we are in the back garden today just to give a couple updates on what has been going on in the garden. It has been unseasonably warm here in Connecticut for the past week or so. We are expecting some bad weather next weekend so I have a little bit of preparing to do for that. But in the meantime, I have gotten a bunch of stuff done, so I wanted to show it off a little bit. I've gotten a bunch of the hanging baskets out. I've gotten a couple of little projects done here and there. So let's have a look around the back garden at some of the things that I got done this week. And the first project I worked on was this little area over here. A couple weeks ago, I had talked about how I wanted, or I was thinking about putting a little bit of a brick patio situation here right next to this raised bed. And I did end up doing that. I used pretty much all of the extra bricks and pavers and everything that I had left. And it like just fits this area. So it's still pretty small. And I had asked for ideas of what to put here. I was thinking about someone had suggested a little bistro table and chair. That is definitely something that I had in mind. I just don't think it's gonna fit. I think it's too small. So I wanted to put like a hanging plant here and I had this coat rack in my house that just isn't working inside and I've thought about using it outside for a really long time. It was bright pink. So I spray painted this black and then I had the idea to add a couple of little crows on top just to make it extra special. And I wanted to put a hanging basket, but I don't didn't want them to be too big or too heavy. So I ordered these little eight inch hanging baskets, which are pretty small. And I ordered them on Amazon. They were $20 for all four. And they just got here and I all I did was um, shorten the chain on two of them so that the lengths would be a little bit staggered. But I love it. I obviously haven't filled them with plants or anything yet, but I definitely love the way it looks. What do you guys think? Do you like it? What else should I put here? I, I still don't think I can fit a table and chair, but I'm thinking maybe just a chair or like a little, little bench or something. We also got a bunch of wood chips laid down. These are the free ones from our local transfer station. So we've gotten, we got two loads of wood chips down. I started working on this trellis for my peas and I ran out of twine or I couldn't find the twine, of, of course, when I was working on the project. So I just ended up using uh, purple yarn, which is like what I always use when I run out of twine. I always have yarn. <laughs> I still need to add the, um, I usually put like a grid of twine around for the plants to climb up. So I still need to add that part. That will come next week. And let's have a look at some of these baskets. This window basket is right by my kitchen window. And in here I put a few of my pansy seedlings and a few of my alyssum seedlings. I do have an ivy in here. And then I also stuck a few branches of pussy willow that are just kind of for decoration. They may root because they, they root super easily, but that's not really what they're there for. And then the middle piece is a plant I got from the Connecticut Flower and Garden Show called a Little Ruby Alternanthera. And just under here, my husband found this at the swap shed at our transfer station. It's like an iron pumpkin. I think it's like a candle holder, but it works perfectly to top this little terracotta planter. Um, it's a, I mean, I should put a climbing plant in here, obviously, <laughs> but for now, I just have alyssum in here. And uh, I have a bunch of seedlings just out here on my little mini porch area. And it's this is all just alyssum and pansies and violas. They're very cold hardy. They've been hardened off. They are staying out here pretty much until they are planted out at this point. Um, you guys, to be completely honest, I am running out of room in the greenhouse and inside my house and I have to do something. So I am pushing things a little bit, but yes, I'm, I'm planting some of the seedlings in. 
Uh, I do have some bulbs coming up also in some of these containers. There are some allium and some tulips that are starting to poke their little heads out. So that is super exciting. And the seedlings mostly that I planted are uh, either in containers or very close to the house so I can cover them if I need to. I have not needed to yet and they've been outside for like two weeks and I anticipate that I will only have to cover them um, for two upcoming nights in the next 10 day forecast. So I have a plan. <laughs> Up here in this little basket, I have my little fairy and then I have this white alyssum that I picked up at the garden barn in uh, Vernon, Connecticut. I went there to see what they had. They did not have a whole lot yet. Um, they had some pansies and they only had two little alyssum plants and I bought both of them because <laughs> they just smelled so amazing. And I had this set up last year with this little fairy and just alyssum and I thought it looked so pretty. So I wanted to repeat that this year as well. And again, if it gets too cold, I can always just pull my baskets inside overnight. So that's uh, one really good thing about baskets. This little basket has, um, again, some just some pussy willow branches, but there is something coming up. I believe these are tulips that I put in here. And there was a little evidence of someone scratching in there, probably a chipmunk, but he didn't take the bulbs. So that's good. My husband also picked up this little rack thing here that has, it has a, like a chicken on top, a rooster, which I don't love, but I painted it black. It was red. I spray painted it black. I love it. I'm probably going to put some hanging basket liners in it and put plants in it. This gorgeous planter I got for Christmas. I love her. She's amazing. I put a couple little alyssum seedlings in there as well. And behind her in that pot is just some pussy willow branches that I am trying to root. But I am not doing a great job, you guys. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have left them outside. I probably should have let them go in the greenhouse until they were more established. But we will just see what happens. And then off in the distance there, you can see I did get my hellebore planted. She's doing great. There's a couple other plants over there that are starting to emerge. And over here in my fairy garden slash witch's garden area, I did plant a bunch of my snapdragon seedlings. Basically, I have a ton and they are getting too big for the seedling trays, just like a lot of other things. This is why you don't start a million plants too early. But snapdragons are another one that are super cold hardy. I remember last year when I was looking up like how cold hardy are they? They were described as bulletproof. And I did have them planted super early last year and they did just fine through several frosts. So I'm sure they'll be fine. I am gonna cover this area with a blanket. I've got um, some stakes and things. It should be no problem. Like I said, we have two days coming up that are looking a little rough. So I'm preparing now for those days. I also have a few little pansy seedlings that I just um, poked in throughout the fairy garden. I like to just kind of dot them in and I think those are gonna look adorable when they bloom. I did not even notice this little streak on the front of my little mushroom stump log thing that I have going on, but that'll be an easy fix. But I did pop a few little alyssums in there and I got my little blue star juniper planted as well. So it's looking very adorable. I'm still looking to get some creeping flocks to fill in around that area. I do have some planted in there already, but I'd like to get some more. Um, I was saying before, I kind of want the fairy garden to be like really low growing plants. And then I kind of want to have stuff around it that's more high growing so that the fairy garden is kind of hidden. So you can't really see it until you come around a certain set of plants, if that makes any sense. And that's pretty much it for what has been going on this past week in the backyard. I have been working in the front yard on my rain garden project, but I will put up a separate video all about that. 
and I also will be putting up an update video about the seedling situation soon. So look forward to that as well. I thank you guys so much for joining me for this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!